Kidney stones are typically caused uh, most commonly in this area by uh, recurring uh, episodes of dehydration. Uh, certainly with uh, the summers that we have here, then there's an ample opportunity for uh, dehydration to occur. And in one episode, it's not gonna cause it, but typically what happens is the urine gets concentrated in the kidney and there's crystals that come out of solution that uh, it's almost just like sugar in a cold glass of water uh, that you can't get dissolved. If you have too high of a concentration, then the crystals come out of the solution. And then the next time you get dehydrated, then more crystals kind of glom on into the to that particular stone and little by little it grows and grows and then eventually if it uh, loosens itself from the kidney and heads down the ureter, that which is the tube that goes from the kidney to the bladder, then that is where the pain begins. Usually the stones that are up in the kidney don't typically cause pain, but uh, as they come as they move and come down the ureter, that's typically where it occurs. There's sometimes people have diets that are high in animal proteins and the excess protein creates an environment inside the kidney that um, uh, makes the, the, the waste products they get, uh, that are being excreted, uh, they get in too high of concentrations and they crystallize. And there's some um, other people who have um, inborn errors of metabolism, we call it. It's just where there's a genetic problem where they excrete too much of a particular substance that uh, cannot be really diluted unless they were just drinking lots and lots of water. Fortunately, those are a small percentage of the general 